My wife, Ruth, and I spend a lot of our time reading letters from you folks who are kind enough to write us. And they're really wonderful letters. And we're glad to hear from those of you who have problems you'd like some help with. So we've picked some questions today and hope they may help some of you with similar problems. Well, Ruth, what's the first question? A listener in Los Angeles wrote this. I am a businessman, and a strange thing has been happening lately. Upon starting for my office, I become quite nervous and can feel a high state of tension. I actually feel sick. This passes after I get into the day's work. I am in good health, am 58 years old, and have everything under control except for being irked by a couple of smart boys, wise guys, who have been given executive jobs under me. All my doctor says about these morning spells is forget them, but I can't. Well, the doctor is no doubt right, but maybe he should go further and tell you what to forget. Ask yourself this, what is your fear? Is it of losing your job or of advancing age? Maybe you are seeing your successor in the offing in one of those uh, smart boys, those wise guys. You know that they are good, and unconsciously, maybe you're tensing into competition with them. So during the busy day, your mind being occupied can throw off these feelings. But apprehension grabs you on the way to work. To break this condition, I suggest taking a generous and helpful attitude toward these young men. Get relaxed about it. Some older men helped you when you were young, didn't they? Well, give yourself to your younger associates, for they need you. And in time, you know, they'll get to loving you for it. Then you will become so relaxed that you can handle your job for years to come, and you've got a long time ahead of you. We'll be back with another question from a listener after this word. A personal question, Dr. Peel, from a Louisiana listener. How can I get willpower to lose weight? Well, many want to know about that. Here's an idea. Form a mental picture of how much better you will feel and look when that excess poundage is gone. Get the thrill each morning of seeing those scales register a little less. Make a game of it. Well, Ruth, I see we've used up our time for today. Sure does go fast. If any of you listening have a problem you would like to talk to me about, please write me, care of this station. Of course, we can't read all your letters over the air, but we'll broadcast as many as we possibly can. 